Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for uh, February 2021. Uh, this month, we are going to jump right in here, Capricorn, and we are going to see uh, what is coming up for you. We're going to take a look at your current energies with this main spread, and then we are going to clarify at the end with the uh, baby tarot here, and we are going to see uh, if there are any additional details, anything else that wants to come up for you. But uh, let's see here, Capricorn. It's really weird. Um, I use this deck. I've used this deck for almost a year now, I think. And um, I never see this crow card coming up. So, uh, you know, I have barely ever had that card show, card show up in readings. So uh, definitely a very interesting uh, energy uh, going on for you here. You have the crow spirit says co-create with spirit. Um, every I've done four readings so far for the month of February. Did I say January? <laughs> this is for February 2021. I don't know what I said at the beginning, Capricorn, whatever. But um, you know what I would say here is there were a lot of cards of co-creation coming up. And so I feel for some of you, you could literally be being guided at this time towards success you could like you know spirit or you know whatever source whatever you want to call it could be you could be i do get like some like channeling energy here for others like i'm getting steps um you know for some of you i feel like something wasn't clear like how to accomplish something it feels like moving to me for some of you but for others it could be moving on like you could be trying to move on from a person here getting something about moving or moving forward it's like maybe you didn't know what the next step was i feel like source or spirit is like giving you or guidance guiding you on the next step you need to take in your life. This is big. Like, I feel like this is huge, is what I feel like saying about this card. We're going to dig into this and see. You have the Nine of Wands, the Devil, and the Strength card. I feel like you have just been a Capricorn, right? I feel like you have just been tapping into this energy here with the Devil. I feel like you've been very perseverant. I feel like you've been kind of learning to stick up for yourself. I'm getting sticking up for yourself with that Nine of Wands there. I feel like you've had to be very strong in all areas of your life here, Capricorn, not just like one little thing. I feel like multiple things have required your strength. For some of you, I do feel like you have you are setting yourself free from kind of like a toxic connection here. I don't really feel like it's toxic. I feel like it's just lopsided is what I feel like saying. I feel like for some of you, it's just like one of those things where maybe you were with a person. I really see something in my head where it's like you really tried to make something work. But I feel like this person just wasn't willing. It's like they're not putting in the effort here. So some of you could be walking away from a person who just won't invest in the situation. It's like they give the bare minimum, I feel. It's like the second time I've told this story as well. Um, so again, like seems to be a common collective energy, but I do feel like you could be walking away. I do get this like message that you really tried with a person. Like I feel like you really, really tried. It's almost like someone mis mistook, is that a word? Mistook, mistaken your uh, love for something else, like toxic energy. It's like they're the one that was mistaken, I feel, here, Capricorn. And I feel like some of you chose to walk away. I do feel like this could be surprising, this person. It could be a fire sign. Uh, definitely could be a Leo. It could be a uh, Gemini. Although I would say, I feel like it could just be someone who has Gemini in their chart um, with the lovers showing up at the end here. You have this no place like home card. So again, I don't really do X back readings, but I do feel for some of you, this person could be kind of like waking up to this love. I feel like it might happen more towards the end of the month. And again, I'm going to be doing mid-monthly readings as well. So we'll see what comes up in the middle of February. But I feel like you're just done kind of like going round and round with this person. There's a card in this deck called Round and Round. And um, the, there's like a spiral shell on it. Um, that spiral shell, it's going to be hard to see, I think, on this camera. But that spiral shell also shows up right here. So I feel for some of you, it's like someone sees you as home, but I feel like you just don't want to like keep going around, 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 around in a circle here. I feel exhausted. <laughs> Tell, saying this I feel tired so I feel like for some of you it's like you're just looking for something where it's like you know you put energy in they put energy in, and it just works like I feel it doesn't have to I feel like saying it doesn't have to be this complicated I feel like someone maybe over complicated something in love here yeah I feel like you're looking for someone who builds you up again this seems to be a major focus this month of February for pretty much everyone that's like you could be looking for someone who where you lift each other up not just like not a one-sided thing I feel like you're looking for something where it's this co-creative energy for others, I feel like you are being lifted up at this time. You have the Three of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Wands here. 
I feel like you could be choosing to walk away. The Eight of Cups sucks. I always tell people, it's like the Eight of Cups hurts, right? You know, the Eight of Cups, he is choosing to walk through darkness. He's choosing to walk away from something here that once did serve him. But guess what? Your strength is going to be rewarded here. You go from the Strength card to the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. It's like you are walking towards the Nine of Cups. He is walking towards the Nine of Cups on this card. You are walking towards total fulfillment. With that three of wands, I feel like is just saying that you waited and waited and waited for a person. I feel like you like really tried here with that three of wands energy. I do feel like this very strong like commitment type energy for some reason on that card, but it's like you waited and waited and waited and I feel like you didn't get anything there. Now I have the hiccups as always. Uh, with that, you know, you have the three of wands. It's like you waited. I feel like you chose to move forward. I feel like you're valuing yourself here, which again, um, this came up for some of the other signs I've done so far. It's like you're really kind of sitting in your power with this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is an energy of wholehearted energy. She she is looking for something that she can invest everything she's got into. And it doesn't have to be just love here, Capricorn. This could be in business, in work, in spirituality. It could be in any area of your life. But I feel like you're really looking for something that creates this right here, perfect harmony. So this card says in perfect harmony. This is like something that just flows and just works. Things kind of go very easily for you here with the perfect harmony card. And you have the let it go. I feel like you're letting something go from the past here. I feel like you're definitely moving on from something here. And it's like there are two birds on here. And they're kind of removing a string from around a heart here. So I'm wondering if some of you could be cutting some cords here with a person. And I feel like this is a good thing if you're letting someone go. I feel like it's like pushing you towards true love, obviously, if you're looking for love. You have the Nine of Cups, the Lovers, and the Page of Wands. Love it. It's like true love. Like I said, you are walking towards total fulfillment. Like I said, I feel like something big as well. Like, uh, if, 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 like I said at the beginning, I feel like saying something huge is coming in. Like this is huge. It keeps popping into my head here. You have the Nine of Cups, the Lovers, and the Page of Wands. I mean, the thing that it could be could just be true love coming into your life, obviously. Uh, for others, I feel like this is a perfect match. Something you've been looking for for a long time. I feel like you have been fearing that you would be burnt in some sort of situation. Like maybe you've been looking for a job, and I feel like you keep getting burned with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is the only uh, court, we, uh, court Wands card that does not have salamanders on her cloak. She has no salamanders. The uh, Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Wands all have these salamanders on their cloak. Salamanders represent being protected by fire or from fire. So, you know, I feel in the past, maybe you did get burnt by something here. It could be like work related. I feel like that Page of Wands is saying you are no longer getting burned. It's like you're getting something that you desire. And you have this Tender Embrace card, really nice card for love energy. So it definitely could be very solid. You have 11 and 22 right here. So 11 and 11, uh, or the number 11 could be very important for you here uh, as well. So I just noticed that, but I, I definitely like that for you. And, um, but this is really, really nice, Capricorn. Uh, let's clarify this and see what additional details uh, want to come up for you. Thank you for being here, by the way, Capricorn. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to drop a like on this video. Really appreciate all the support. But you have the two of pentacles here. It's like you're trying to make a choice. Queen of swords. Not sure if you should cut someone off. I feel like you've already made the decision. Like, who am I kidding? I feel like you've already made the choice with the queen of swords here and the ten of wands. Someone was like too much work, I feel. I feel very lopsided, like I said earlier in the reading. So if this is love, it's like it was just very one-sided, you know, and... I feel like you're just moving away from it. Like, I feel like you're not punishing yourself either, which I love about this. Like, sometimes I do readings and, like, people leave comments. They're always like, I'm done with love and, like, all this other stuff. I don't think you're doing that here with the Queen of Wands. Like, sometimes I think if you're the type of person that gives a lot of love in a relationship, you can get to that point where you're just like, I'm not going to give any more. But I, I feel like you're saying, you know what? I do give a lot of love in situations and I'm going to continue to give a lot of love, but I'm going to find the person who deserves it. And th that's what I feel like you're saying here with that queen of wands. Same thing with work or business. Capricorn, it's like you're you're kind of realizing your value here with that queen of wands. And I feel like you're kind of setting off on an adventure to find a situation that deserves your attention, plain and simple. So major changes. Yeah, you have the hair fin moving towards like marriage, <laughs> wish fulfillment, queen of wands again, damn, love it. Again, you have made the decision to walk away from something that just wasn't right here. And that is attracting true love into your life if you're looking for love. If you're not looking for love, this is some sort of lesson. Let's see what it is here. Yeah, for an adventure, the fool. The fool says, take the leap of faith here. That hair fin is a card of learning. 
you know, he has three levels to his crown here, and it represents like three degrees in Freemasonry, but I feel for some of you, it's just kind of like saying you have maybe had like a set of lessons, or maybe you have experienced some lessons like over and over and over again, and I feel like you're coming to the end of that, and the Queen of Wands, like you finally being able to start this adventure. You have the Knight of Wands here at the end, the uh, Page of Wands again, damn, and like repeating cards, and the Queen of Cups, love. This is a change in direction of love coming in for you. It could be a fire sign coming in for you with the Knight of Wands there and the Page of Wands. And the Queen of Cups is, again, someone very kind, caring, nurturing uh, type of energy. Again, uh, a lot of the readings I've done so far have been all about, like, kind, caring, nurturing energy Capricorn. So there could be something that is uh, very much like that coming in for you here. I'm getting something about writing as well popping into my head on that Knight of Wands for some reason. Uh, I feel like either you could be writing or there's something important about writing for you here. Uh, let's uh, see what else is coming up for you here, Capricorn. And let's see uh, if there are any additional details that want to come up. You have the Page of Swords. I do feel for some of you this person could be spying on you, someone from the past. Yeah, they could want to come back. Judgment card here. Uh, and you have the Eight of Swords. I feel like you see them as stuck, though, with that Eight of Swords. Uh, I kind of, like, talked about this earlier, that I feel for some of you, it's like this, if you have been dealing with a person that you're walking away from, I feel like they don't expect it. So I do feel like they could be kind of trying to come back into your life here. I'm not so sure that you will take them back, though. Boom, you can't make this stuff up here, Capricorn. I was talking about the round and round card, right? I feel like you see this as a dead end. I feel like you see this situation as something that is just going to continue to repeat here. Yeah, I feel like you want something solid here. You want something that fits. Like I said, I kept getting this thing about flow. I feel like you just want that co-creative energy. You, you want a love situation. Like, this reminds me of Tetris, you know? I feel like you want something where things just kind of fall into place, where it's not like just the same old story with the round and round card. I feel like you see someone almost, like I wouldn't say as a waste of time, but I feel like you just see them as wasting your time. Like, you're like, wait, I give like a billion percent, they give zero percent, I'm not going to continue this. So that's why I feel like some of you are ending it with the world card, but that's probably why you're like walking away from a situation, because they're just not willing to give. Uh, you have the nine of swords here, yeah, I feel like you'd be too concerned if you were to stay in the situation. Seven of cups here, I feel like you're questioning whether this person, if it's someone coming back from the past, is coming back for the right reasons. Four Pentacles. It's like just because they're stuck. They're just holding on to it. So for a lot of you, I feel like you will walk away from this. For others, this whole thing to me says that you could be being called to a purpose with that judgment card. And I feel like this purpose, it's like there are a lot of ways that you could probably accomplish um, whatever your purpose is or whatever you're feeling called to do. I do feel like you need to set yourself free and go on an adventure here. For those of you like outside of love, I do feel like this is saying to let go of your past and to kind of try to remove um, situations. Um, I feel in these situations that you're removing, I feel like are could be financial. It's like you could be stuck in like getting a job or you know getting starting a career. I feel like that co-create card is saying you need to find people who can help you move forward. Eight of Swords is like being too close to a problem and not realizing that there's like ways to uh, get out of the situation. I do feel like some of you are kind of like in this in-between time where you're trying to uh, make progress. You have this merry motive as well. Uh, this card is about like inspiration. So I feel that you are feeling very inspired to have some sort of new beginning uh, this month. And like I said, I feel like there are big changes coming in for you. I don't normally do this, but I do want to pull, I, I want to see, like I kept getting this message, um, like this is huge, is popping into my head. So um, uh, let's just, I'm just going to lay them right down in the middle. You have the Ace of Cups here. So I, I want to ask, like, what is the big thing coming in for you? Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So true love, probably. That, it, you know, that this is huge message is probably, like, true love coming in for you here. Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles is everything you want in life. And the Two of Cups is true love. So I feel for a lot of you, it's true love. For others, it could be just something permanent, finally, right? The Ace of Cups, your emotions overflowing, but the Ace of Cups requires action. It's like the universe, I think something people forget about this card is like the universe is offering you the cup, but this bird doesn't drop that Eucharist into the cup and cause it to overflow until you take your first step. 
So I feel like for some of you, this is saying you could be starting a new journey in like work or business. It's gonna be something permanent with the 10 of pentacles I feel, and it's gonna be a perfect match for you. The two of cups to me is like you and your higher self. I mean, this could be you talking yourself into doing something like starting a business or you know getting you know, going for one last interview, right? And I feel like some of you, job-wise, I feel like some of you want to, it's like you almost feel like you want to quit or it's like you're ready to give up but I would say don't because <laughs> I feel like there's something very big coming in for you here, um, but I like it. So thank you for watching Capricorn. Really appreciate it. And make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this month. Also feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Really appreciate all the support, but thank you, and I will see you in the next video.